Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Masterwork Mod. Today, today. We left off last episode working on Project Rock Slide for our 10 year celebration. And there was one problem with a block that didn't get mined out. But there was another problem that I had overlooked. When you collapse something, it keeps going until it hits something solid. And by solid, I mean solid for a entire block. So the farm's down here. If I would have collapsed it, it would have kept going. Through this floor, down 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 through this floor, so on and so forth. That would have been bad. So what we're doing is we're building some walls up to reinforce these. To reinforce the ceiling so that it doesn't destroy our fortress. Our ventilator fortress, I should say. That being the case. It has taken us too long to get that done because a siege has arrived with the next season and the next merchants. I haven't looked to see what they are. So this could be very, very bad. The worst thing would be something that has building destroyers that could come and destroy the supports and prematurely collapse everything. That's possible. Uh, also bad would be warlocks because their armor would not be effective against them. Uh, frost giants, depending on how many they arm are and how well arm they are. Their weapons have a chance of being the type that can get through our armor. And what else is there? Lots of pretty much anything would be bad. But let's look at the unit list to see what we have. We have gnome. What? Gnome invaders? Really? Didn't know gnomes could invade. There aren't very many of them. Have they gotten so mad that they've lost so many troops that they decided to kill me, or...? They're only bow gunners, though. I mean, how bad could they be? Let's zoom to the creature. Check their inventory. Flint. Oh, well, they're not blow gunners, they're pistol wielders. Many of them. They don't have very many bullets, though. Five, five, ten, seven. There aren't very many of them. So this could be okay. We're going to move up. We'll move squad D, the musket men. Musket doors. We're going to be moved there. We're going to move... Suppose we could man these and see... Well, no, that would probably just run right into the trade caravan. We're going to move squads... The melee squad is going to come, like, right here and hide behind that. And the range squad will come cover them. Hopefully we can encourage them to come around. But we also want to do hide. Everyone get inside. If you're not military, get inside because bullets will be lethal. Several of the military guys were right there. That's kind of bad. They're going to run into... The traitors, aren't they? I already 
shot them. Well, we can use the traitors as cover then. Squad B, move up. Moved here. Squad A, you move to like right here. Is that kind of like a war donkey or something? Still clad horse, okay. It's a war horse. Go. How is squad D moving? They're going to use up all of their ammo. Squad D. I think it's time for you to move up. Whoa, someone just got hurt. Uh, crossbowman shoots him in the groin. Human guys being beat the crap. Blow gunner blocks the bullet. Axdorf. Blocks the bullet, blocks the bullet, blocks the bullet. Okay. Gnome. Axdorf. Flying still bullet strikes the sergeant in the right hand, tearing the skin. Ligament's been torn, tendons been torn. Loses hold of the shield, that's bad. Strikes him in the right thigh, chipping the bone and fracturing the right hip's bone. Sensory nerve has been severed and the tendon's been torn. Ligament in the right hip has been torn and the tendon has been torn. Sergeant falls over. You need to get better at your shield uses, I think. The Axdorf. Okay, the Axdorf relentlessly hews the gnome blowgunner in the right foot with the full force of his superior volcanic battle axe. Tearing apart the muscle, many nerves have been severed. The blowgunner has become enraged. The Axdorf blocks the flying steel bullet. The flying steel bullet mixes, misses the Axdorf. The Axdorf hacks the gnome blowgunner in the head with his superior volcanic battle axe, and the severed part sells off in an arc. Beheaded. Wrong guy. Dwarf yells. Take the caravan if needed with force. Okay. Gnome Blowgunner hits the human guy and misses the Axdorf. The Axdorf emphatically slices the Gnome Blowgunner in the left foot with a honed axe blade of her superior volcanic. Battle axe, and the severed part sails off in an arc. The extra strikes the gnome blowgunner in the torso with her left hand, bruising the muscle and tearing and bruising the guts. The extra emphatically slices the gnome blowgunner in the chest with the honed axe blade of her superior volcanic battle axe, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the right breast muscles. An artery was opened in the attack. The superior volcanic battle axe is lodged firmly in the wound. The Axdorf twists the embedded superior volcanic battle axe around in the gnome's chest. Axdorf. I think this is the one where I read. Oh no, this is different. The Axdorf charges at the gnome blowgunner. Actually, first he yells, Kill them. Then he charges at the gnome blowgunner. The gnome blowgunner looks surprised by the ferocity of the Axdorf's on onslaught. The Axdorf whirls around and cleaves the gnome blowgunner in the torso with the heavy blade of her superior volcanic battle axe, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Bisected. The Axdorf collides with the gnome blowgunner. Not sure which piece. Gnome blowgunner is knocked over and tumbles backwards. The sergeant is gets shots in the chest, tearing the right breast muscle. Does he not have a chest piece? Strikes him in the torso, tearing the muscle and chipping the pelvis bone through the mental greaves. Artery has been opened. A tendon in the pelvis has been torn. He's going to need some medical attention. Crossbow! Shoots the gnome blowgunner in the groin, tearing the muscle. Strikes him in the throat, tearing it apart. A major artery has been opened in the attack. That's a kill for him. Strikes the gun blow during the right thigh and the severed part sells off in an arc. Decapitate, or well, crippling blow there. 
Right, so, and the forearm chipping the bone. So that's one for them. Blocks a bullet. That's the sergeant being taken down. Okay, is the range squad, the rifle squad, going to make it in time? Or are they all going to be dead? Now it's my turn. Uh, flying green glass open strikes the dome blow gunner in the left buttocks, tearing the fat. Axdorf. Relentlessly hews the blow gunner in the head with the full force of a superior volcanic battle axe and the severed part sells off in an arc. Decapitation. Axdorf yells kill them. Axdorf. Leaves the known blogger in the torso with their superior volcanic battle axe, and the severed part sells off in an arc. Is that the one we already read? Not sure. <laughs> the dome yells, Curse your sudden but inevi inevitable betrayal. <laughs> Great quote. The dome yells, Murderer! The dome yells, Robbers! How can you do this to us? You attacked me, bastards. No Mogner attacks the Axdorf, but she jumps away. The Axdorf blocks the flying steel bullet. Our guys are just awesome. Batting bullets out of the air. Doing some Matrix type crap. <laughs> the Dwarf yells, Ha! For once I am the fighter with the size advantage. Uh, they're trying to melee them. What does it look like? Can't really tell it's who's hitting who. Axdorf. This is the guy that bisected the other one, I think. Makes an undercut swing at the gnome blue gunner with the head of her superior volcanic battle axe and the severed part sells off in an arc. In the head, so he decapitated him. They must be running out of guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's a squad. They must not have be dead yet. They're just not registering they're dead yet. Oh, there they go. There's what three, four down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. It's only showing up. It's actually not showing up any of them dead. Surprised by the velocity by the frosty of the attack. Charges them. Makes an undercut swing. Severs a head. It's another head lost. After he cut off his left shin. And somehow someone must have cut off his arm too. Um, this one strikes him in the left buttocks. Steam power tech will be ours. How's the lead crossbow been doing? He's only... He shot someone's forearm off. I guess that's something. I think we're going to win this. The Mason? Fisher Dwarf? Gnome? Rolls around and cleaves the Gnome Bogunner in the head. And the Severed Part sells off in an arc. We are just. There's another one. In the head. Severed Part sells off in an arc. It's like cutting down trees or something. Little tiny short trees. In the head. And the Severed Part sells off in an arc. Just decapitations left and right. Um, is he trying to get away? Uh, squad A, B, and C, and O, and D kill survivors. Don't let there be any. 
rectangle. Uh, intricate order. Go forth and massacre. Doors have suspended construction of a wall for some reason. Come on, don't let him get off the screen. I think he might have stopped that one, the one that's mounted. It's like you've got him trapped now. Or do you? Nope, he got off the screen. But the horse didn't make it. Axdorf hacks him in the lower body, and the severed part sails off an arc. So, squad... That's the end of that siege. Squad A, move back to here. Squad B, move back to, like, right here. And then we'll continue working on Project Rock Slide. Military alerts, back to what you were doing, people. Free bullets for everyone. Even some flintlock pistols. Wow, that was surprising. Hopefully someone will get this guy in the medic. I need a medic here. Pretty badly. Let's see. Can we check him here? Left forearm is broken. Right hand is fractured. Right thigh is fractured. Chest is cut open. Torso is cut open. Right hip is fractured and pelvis is fractured. So he's going to need some healing. But he's survivable if somebody gets him before he bleeds to death. And we should have somebody on that. I may need to switch them to um, inactive. Let's try that. Orders. Squads, B. We'll just do that and cancel the station. See how that works for us. Ah, there's already a medic coming to pick him up. Yeah, recover wounded. Save him, man! Save him! Our little archers are probably going to get some more ammo or something. And the wall can be resumed. Wall. Now then we should be good. So I will probably cut this here and be back once more of this is done. Or something else happens. Maybe once we're ready to trade. Okay, it is time to trade with the humans. Some steel. Definitely need the medical supplies. Want the steel. Want the medical supplies. Take the copper. Take more steel. Wool clothing. Charcoal. Wool. Wool. Medical supplies, charcoal, wool, charcoal, wool. Medical supplies, we'll take that just in case. Take this just because it's cheap. Take some wood, I don't think we need the rope. Um, don't need that or that or that. Venom, they brought some prickleberry wine, we'll take that. Just because some people are bound to like it. We'll take the bitter root. <clears throat> um, the lie we'll take. River spirits, more lie. Bitter root. Aspen. Yeah, that's not very good. More that. More that. Um, uh, that causes necrosis. So we'll take it. Just because. Mm, don't want any of that stuff. Um, we'll probably.
probably pick up some bags of dye to help out our um, library. Make some ink from that. Lots of dye. Bitter root seeds. We'll take some of those. I think I already have enough, probably. Oh, there's a few more. Some bullets. Ah, sure, we'll take some bullets. It's only a stack of 25 and not a 50, though. Um, Some steer potion javelins. That's a little bit expensive. Meat. Lots and lots and lots and lots. And holy crap, that's a lot of meat. Uh, more of these. Variety, it's the spice of life. Um, I'll take the thread because we're using quite a lot to suit your people. Won't take any of that. Won't take any of that. Won't take any of that. Um, I think that's everything, right? So, let's see. How do you like vials? How about bolts? How about earthenware? Wonderful clay sculptures here. Genuine dwarf crafts. Human people eat that stuff up. May even be a little bit generous. It's because we haven't traded in a while. And we do like them to like us. Maybe they won't see just too. The humans can be a little bit difficult if they see you. Not always, but they can be. Stupid wall stopping suspended. freaking bolt on top of it, and they don't want to move it. Okay, so I will be back again shortly. Okay, I think we're ready to bring down the mountain. Pour the lever. Hoping that's the right lever. Um, wasn't it Controlium? I thought it was, no, it was query mode controlling. Yes. Right, never. Okay. Someone should pull that, and then the game should slow to a crawl. As half the mountain collapses. And hopefully we don't punch a hole in our fort. But there's the slowing to the crawl part. So it probably worked. Yeah. Cavern has collapsed. Those humans are not going to be happy. But oh well. Let's hope nothing broke through here. Seems to be okay. Assuming it's finished calculating all of that. It's the dust that's a really big problem. Still running very slow. Oh, we must have crushed our trade depot. Whoops. Our trade thing. Bet we did. 
we shouldn't have. Might have, I'm not sure. It's probably what all those masterwork was destroyed things was from. But I said one. That makes people unhappy, so you don't know it's five times, so you don't want to do that. <coughs> Dust is clearing. Some cages got knocked all the way way back here. From over here. And of course, there were some bats that were hanging around. Because, of course. Okay, now things are speeding back up a little bit. And... Big giant mountain. We will have to come back. They're floating. Yeah, they're floating in the air. But they're bees. They can fly. Let's come back and get rid of this part. And that part. I'm not sure if I can do that from this level. Maybe by upward show, upward ramp. Upward ramp, upward ramp. Upward ramp, may yeah, are. That should do it. Of course, I've still got to get up here, but other than that, carve some upper ramps here. Just so we can get up. Do it here as well. And somewhere around here. sure where it needs to go. Mm, this whole area. Actually, might need to go up one more. No, that's fine. Uh, right. This area, too. That should take care of it. We hope. Uh, we can't open the gates. Deconstruct that. Um, I think we can deconstruct this too. Yeah, we can deconstruct that. Pull that lever, and pull that lever, and go to inactive, and switch the squads back to active training. So that's going to give us a whole bunch of area to work with build our defenses, we hope. It'll also be outside area, so we can kind of use it for um for. Yeah, we can set it on fire. Let's grass should grow wherever there's sand. There should have been more, but I guess there wasn't. I'll probably make the defenses more. But I don't care about that. The defense is more oriented in this direction, so they're more toward the center of the map. So something like the Fortification, like, right around here. And 
that will leave. We can like have a path for merchants to come through. It's like really short, coming through here, but still under the cover of any towers we would build. I think that's probably what we're going to be focused on in the next few episodes, getting our defenses back up and running. It's kind of important. But it shouldn't be too difficult. We have all the stone right here, so we should just be able to order it and have it near instantly completed. We'll probably want to move our main entrance and the traps and all that. But after we get the walls rebuilt. So, you know, most everything should have still been in the Trade Depot, I think. Yeah, so we didn't lose too much from that. So, the end of, this is going to be the end of this episode. Like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.